in a recent video, I mentioned one of the big changes that's happened around here at Calhoun Audio Labs, which now encompasses Axiom Audio, Bryston, and Magnum Dynalab, three brands of uh, really totally varied and different types of equipment. Um, you know, we've now brought in-house the capability to populate circuit boards, particularly to populate surface mount components. And as I mentioned in that video, um, the surface mount parts are called that because they literally sit on the surface of the circuit board and they make electrical contact with pads that are sitting on one of the outside uh, surfaces of the board. They don't go through the board like traditional so-called through-hole components like these bigger resistors and this capacitor here. Now, I mentioned in that video as well that I would do some more detailed videos and we'll have some, some cut-in footage showing you some of the parts of the process in case you're interesting. I mean, I've, I've seen um, surface mount um, production lines running many, many times over the last 20 years or so, and I'm still fascinating about it. About it. It's, it's, it's a fascinating process. It's very interesting to watch. And, you know, it still seems a little bit, you know, uh, a little bit something out of the future, if you will. Um, but anyway, we'll go through, I'm going to do three videos, uh, each one going through a particular major stage of how we actually assemble surface mount parts on a circuit board. So this video is going to talk about the first part of the process, which is uh, called paste printing or solder paste application. So what happens when you have a, have a circuit board that's set up for surface mount parts, what happens is, is that you have, and you can maybe see here, or we'll drop in a, a detailed photo, you can see that there are areas that on this board are gold, sometimes they look silver. Um, areas of the board that are that color and not, in this case, the black color, which is called the mask, those gold areas or silver areas are actually plated metal plated copper that connect traces to different parts of the circuit. And the surface mount parts, we need to do two things before, uh, or actually to install the part. When we install the part, we, we have to be able to hold it in place. So there's a paste or a gluing application, if you will, and then we actually have to solder it to the board. So we have to uh, flow um, a liquid metal alloy to make the electrical connection between the component and these exposed pads, as they're called, on the circuit board. And to do that, we use something called solder paste. And solder paste is really an amalgam of uh, different metallic elements, flux that helps the, um, helps the solder flow and cover the pad and cover the component uh, contacts, and also is tacky so that it will hold the part in place. Now, to get paste only in the areas where there are those pads where we're actually going to be applying a contact or a component, we use something called a stencil. And the stencil has openings just in those areas. And so what happens is, is that the stencil will come down using this um, solder paste spreading machine. The stencil will come down on top of the circuit board and then a metal squeegee will actually draw the solder paste across the board. And what it will do as it is drawn across the stencil, it will fill the areas where there are pads on the circuit board. It will evenly coat them with precise thickness of this solder paste. Once we have the solder paste application complete, which by the way is one of the most critical parts of the process, get that wrong 
and you will not get a good quality board. We're now ready to move on to the next step in the process, which is going to be the next video, which is actually placing the components. Thanks for watching and I hope you're looking forward to the next video.